Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Princess Remy, and today I'm gonna to show you a five minute stretching routine for knee pain. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So for this five minute stretching routine, it's gonna be in real time. So if you wanna follow along with me, you can. And if you haven't yet already, make sure you click on that subscribe button down there so I can see your comments. So with this routine, Typically, I'll tell you, usually you wanna stretch 30 seconds, do that three times to get a good stretch. But I understand that people are often busy, they don't have a lot of time to do their stretches. So what I'm gonna do with this one is it's gonna be two 30 second stretches for each general muscle group. So five minutes is, is enough if you can do three 30 second stretches for each one, that's great. But I do realize that sometimes that gets a little time consuming. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, I have a little timer on my phone and we're gonna do the 30 seconds twice, a little 10 second break in between each big muscle group that we're doing. So I've got this started to go. And then, and to start off with, we're gonna do a quick little warm up for the knee. So it doesn't have to be anything big or crazy, but just kind of to get the knee moving a little bit. So we're gonna start, we're gonna do a 45 second, I can't remember if I said minute or second, but 45 seconds to warm up, and then we'll go into the stretches. So we're just gonna start it now and it's doing the 45 seconds. So I would just start off with some, maybe some knee slides just to get it moving. This is a little bit stretching it, but it's a continuous movement. We're gonna be doing this side for the stretching and it doesn't have to be, again, you don't have to force it up. So if you're having a lot of knee pain, you can go only right here to start warming it up. That's fine. And then just kind of straighten it out and then you're gonna do a couple quad sets for a warm up. So again, this one, you don't have to hold it like you would sometimes in the exercise I'm talking about. The, a quad set is you're just squeezing that quad and relaxing it. So just doing a couple of those just to get the muscle ready to go. And then we're gonna go into the first stretch, which is a calf stretch. For the calf stretch, I like to kind of prop it up. If you're on your couch or your bed, you can just hang it off the edge. You don't have to do it on the floor. And then just take a strap right kind of above the ball of the foot and pull towards you. So you're not actively moving the foot. You're using the strap. You can use a dog leash. You can use a belt to pull in. And you should feel that stretch right under there where that calf muscle is that actually crosses that knee joint. So that's why it's really important. So now just a little break in between and then go back into that stretch. So this is the second 30 second um, stretch now. So again, the calf muscles or that gastroc muscle comes up, it's attached to that Achilles tendon, comes up and crosses that knee joint. So if it's tight, it's gonna cause pressure and pain in that knee if it's not doing what it's supposed to do. So this is just a nice way to really get that stretch in there and get everything loosened up. You want your stretches to be comfortable, you don't want them to be painful, just feeling tension. So now taking a little 10 second break to get set up for the next one, we're gonna go into a hamstring stretch. I like just continuing on and lying down into the hamstring stretch. Keep this, keep the strap in the same spot right on the ball of that foot. Keep your leg straight and come up into that stretch. So as you can see here, I've got my other one propped up. You don't have to, you can bring it down. Sometimes people feel like they're getting a better stretch for that. But I like to prop it up because it takes a little pressure off of your back. Try not to bend your knee. If you're doing this, you're not stretching those hamstrings because again, the hamstrings are the opposite of that, that calf. Take a little break and then come back up. It attaches at your hip up here and comes and crosses the knee that way. So it's another one that crosses the knee joint. And so if it's tight, it's gonna really cause some pain in that joint there. So try and keep that knee straight and locked out, otherwise you're not gonna get this stretch. If you want to kind of add the calf in a little bit, you can pull your toes up towards you, but again, make sure that knee's not bending. If it starts bending, then come back down a little bit to get that nice big stretch. Great. So another little quick 10 second break. We're gonna go into an IT band stretch now. So it's very similar to the hamstring stretch. I like it, you can keep everything in the same spot, but bring this leg down Keeping that leg straight again, you're gonna come up and now just drop it across your body. Try not to lift your bottom up. You don't have to roll all the way over. Keep that part of your hip down and you should feel that stretch through the side now. So that's your IT band. And guess what? 
it's another one that crosses that knee joint. So you really want to make sure that you're getting it nice and stretched out so you can keep everything nice and loose. Come back down and then come right back up to get that second stretch in there. So you come up first, keeping it straight, and then roll it across your body until you feel that stretch through there. Now sometimes people feel a little more stretch if they come down a little bit and come over. The crossing the body is what gets that IT band stretch. So if you're not feeling much down here, try coming up a little bit higher and come across. I feel mine more if I, if I bring my leg up higher, but some people feel it more if they're a little bit lower. So your choice. Now just take the strap and kind of wrap it around your ankle. And now you're gonna roll over onto your tummy to get your quad muscles. So I'm just gonna wrap it around my shoulder like this, and then you're gonna pull that strap, trying to bring your heel towards your bottom. Now with this one, I'm propped up on my elbows just so I can talk to you, but if you wanna be comfortable, so if it's more comfortable to lie all the way down, make sure and do that. Lying on your tummy helps you get a better quad stretch because if the top part of your thigh is straight down and not bent, you'll get more of a stretch. So coming on down and come back up into that stretch. So again, just, just like all the other muscles, that quad tendon comes all the way down to the kneecap or that patella, it attaches there. So it has a lot to do with that knee joint. So a tight quad can cause a lot of knee pain. So this is just another one to get that nice stretch in there and get that, that flexibility so there's not as much pain in the knee. Make sure it's not hurting while you're stretching, just feeling that pressure and tension in there. So the last one is gonna be a hip flexor stretch. So we're gonna come up into kind of a tall kneeling position for that. Just put a pillow here, the side you wanna stretch, bring it up, get into a lunge position, and just tuck your bottom in. You don't have to go far forward like sometimes I do in my videos. You're just tucking that tailbone in. You're rotating everything inwards to get that stretch in that hip flexor. And one of your hip flexors is actually a part of your quad muscle. So that's why even though it says hip flexor, it has to do with that knee. It comes down to that knee. So that's why it's just important to stretch. Take a little break and then go back into the stretch. So see how my hips are rotating. I'm tucking my tailbone in. I can feel that stretch through there, but if you need a little bit more, you can kind of lean into it a little bit. Just try and keep your back upright. I see a lot of people want to do this, and I'm not stretching that hip flexor at all. You have to keep your back up, and you have to tug that tailbone in. And then if you want more, you can go forward a little bit. So that's it. So there you have it. That was my five minute stretching routine for knee pain. If you'd like to help support my channel, make sure and click on the link up there. And don't forget to subscribe by, subscribe, did I say subscribe? By clicking down there. And remember, be safe. Have fun like Princess Remy, and I hope you feel better soon.